This is Jeremy Wellborn, and this is a story of the birth of a 2020 Corvette VIN 50. Letter of Authenticity. This letter hereby certifies that this photo album was purchased by Jeremy Wellborn, owner of a Sebring Orange 2020 Corvette Coupe with VIN 50. This car was built on February 3rd, 2020. Photographs were taken by a representative of the National Corvette Museum. The build process was captured at various stages of the assembly. The GM Bowling Green Assembly Plant is located in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Dr. Sean M. Preston, President and CEO of the National Corvette Museum. Congratulations and thank you for the purchase of your brand new Corvette, the true American sports car. Upholding a long-standing tradition of producing high-quality vehicles, the skilled workers at the GM Bowling Green Assembly Plant built this vehicle with immense American pride and distinguished craftsmanship. This labor force assembles every Corvette as if it were their own, recognizing that the vehicles they build are, in many cases, the fulfillment of lifelong dreams held by our valued customers. The National Corvette Museum is thrilled to be able to provide you with this pictorial directory of your Corvette coming to life. We hope you will cherish this unique memento for many years to come. Whether this is your first Corvette or one of many, you have become a member of the Corvette family. We hope that you will become an active member of the National Corvette Museum and a local Corvette organization. We invite you to visit the GM Bowling Green Assembly Plant and National Corvette Museum often. When you do, you will see for yourself the extraordinary passion and pleasure shared by Corvette enthusiasts everywhere as they return to the city where Corvettes are born. Remember to bring this keepsake reminder of the birth of your car. Again, congratulations on your new purchase. Stay safe and enjoy the ride. Dr. Sean Preston, National Corvette Museum President, CEO, and Kai Spandy, General Motors Bowling Green Assembly Plant Manager. The first part of your car is it descends into the area known as trim to begin the process of the final assembly. The car will move along a series of conveyors and lifts throughout the assembly plant until all of the components and sub-assemblies are completed, creating your 2020 Corvette. In this photo, the operator is installing the front carpet and gas pedal. In this photo, aided by a lift, the operator is installing the instrument panel. Here you see your windshield and partition glass prepared for assembly. Prior to installation, robots dispense adhesive around the perimeter to prepare the glass which forms the seal to the frame. These large scissor style lifts, known as flex lifts, raise the car body up to be picked up by a three rail carrier overhead that will move the car into the next area of assembly. Installation of the fuel tanks. The Corvette for 2020 retains the dual fuel tank design for better weight distribution. The body chassis marriage. The two separate conveyors are precisely timed so that the exact body is married to the exact chassis to form the exact car ordered by the customer. Marriage occurs as the sub-assembled chassis is lifted from its platform on the toveyor, while the trim body is lowered toward it and they are connected at various points. Here you see the master cylinder being installed which controls the brake system. In this photo, the operator lowers your battery into the car. In these photos, you see the radiators being installed. Up front are two large outboard radiators which send cold liquid coolant in parallel rearward to cool the engine and transmission. In this photo, the operator is hanging the rear quarter panel on the car. Here you see the rear hatch being installed, which consists of a carrier frame that surrounds a glass piece with perforation to let the engine vent properly. In this photo, you can see the seats installed in the car. The seats arrive in containers from the manufacturer sequenced for the assembly order scheduled for the day. This operator is aligning the door for assembly to the vehicle. The door is aided by a lift and during the assembly the operator uses a torque gun pre-programmed with the correct torque setting for each fastener they are inserting. The operator is also aided by a seat that will move along the line with the vehicle, keeping them at the correct height to perform the required steps while keeping in contact with the vehicle as it moves along the conveyor.
These photos show the installation of the front quarter panels and the subsequent alignment operation. There are two holes in the center of the quarter panel for an alignment fixture used to position the panel true to its desired location. Here you see the skillet transfer station moving the car between skillet lines. 95% of the body panels are currently installed on the skillet lines. The addition of the rear fascia and taillight assembly begin to define the rear view of the car. Assembly and alignment of the vehicle hood. In this photo, the operator is installing the steering wheel. The headlights being installed on the car. Assembly and alignment of the front fascia. The Corvette incorporates features in the fascia and the bumper subassembly to ensure that it is compliant with worldwide pedestrian and impact safety standards. In this photo, the operator is installing the steering wheel supplemental restraint assembly. The interior door panel being installed on the car. In this photo, operators lower the rear hatch glass into position on the car. In this photo, you see the roof panel assembled to the car. Welcome to the Michelin family. Your 2020 Corvette wheels about to touch down for the first time since the beginning of the assembly process. This marks the first time that the vehicle has supported its own weight. National Corvette Museum Delivery, built for Jeremy Wellborn, then 50. Notice there are zero miles on the odometer. The birth of 2020 Corvette VIN 50 occurs as it comes off the line. After the headlights and steering have been aligned, each Corvette is brought to one of two booths for comprehensive testing. Shown here is the Dynamic Vehicle Test Area, or DVT for short. The car accelerates up to 80 miles per hour, while a computer runs diagnostic testing on the engine cylinders, transmission shifting, anti-lock braking system, and emission levels. In all, over 800 tests will be conducted in about two minutes' time. When the testing is complete, the screen in front of the car will move up away from the car. If a green bar appears on the screen, the car is successfully passed. If a red bar appears on the screen, then one of those 800 tests has not been passed. This photo shows the car going through the final water intrusion test. Once completed, the car will be sent to the squeak and rattle track and through one last quality check before shipment. This 2020 Corvette was sent from the plant to the National Corvette Museum for their R8C Museum Delivery Program. I had the pleasure of taking delivery of this 2020 Corvette on March the 11th, 2020 at the National Corvette Museum. Special thanks to the National Corvette Museum for the great work that they did to put this book together as a memento of the experience of my 2020 Corvette's build and my delivery at the National Corvette Museum.